find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your Hello, hello, my beauties. Thank you so much again for tuning in to my channel. Today's makeup look is going to be this right here. It's a very fun, flirty, very pink Valentine's Day sparkly look. It's perfect for date night or just going out with your girls. It's very versatile. So if you want to see how I achieve this sparkly pink, fun, flirty look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to be going in with a lip mask. My lips are super dry and cracking right now, so I definitely need one pronto. I'm using the Bite Beauty Lip Mask from Bite. <laughs> the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And then I'm going to be going in with this primer right here from Makeup Forever. It's a step one nourishing primer. Probably one of my favorite primers of all time. I just love how nourishing it is. And it really helps my foundation to stay on all day. Definitely use clean fingers when doing this. And then I'm going to be prepping once more with the Prep and Prime Fix Plus from MAC. Alright, my scotch tape, I'm just getting rid of some of the stickiness on the back of my hand and then I'm lining it up on my lower lash line. This is basically to prevent any fallout from the eyeshadow that I'm using and also to create a nice, clean, crisp line from my eyeshadows. So I'm basically lining it up where my bottom lash line would be extending upwards. And then I'm going in with the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. And the reason I use concealers for priming my eyelids is basically because it neutralizes any of the blue veins that you might see on the eyelids. And it really helps to hold on to any of the eyeshadow product that you're using as long as you set it. Definitely set any sort of priming you do on your eyes. So I'm going to be setting mine with the Shade and Light Kat Von D palette, the lightest peach shade in the palette. And I'm using a Sigma E35 brush to just pack that onto the eye, um, the eyelid. And you, like I said, you just want to set any sort of priming that you do. I'm going in with this Makeup Geek shade from, um, it's called Chickadee, I believe. And this blending brush right here. I'm not really quite sure what this blending brush is called, but I'm pretty sure it's a Morphe brush. I'll link it down below in the description box. And this is really a perfect brush for just packing on a transition shade all over the crease. So that's basically what I'm doing. The most concentrated pigmentation of the shadow is going to be on the outer V area. But then I'm just going to be blending it inwards to the inner part of the eye and a little bit upwards, a little bit past the crease. Because again, this is a transition shade. So this is what we're going to be using to buff out all of the darker shadows as we go along. So I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye, just packing it onto the outer V area and then blending it out, blending it inwards to the inner portion of the eye. And then I'll be taking this shade right here, which I think is Mango Tango. Again, I'll list all the shadows and brushes that I'm using down below. Of course, my cat has to be in every single video. <laughs> and then I'm using this goat-haired brush. I think it's from Crown, just a regular goat-haired, fluffy blending brush. And I'm um, packing and blending off on that Mango Tango shade to the outer corner. Again, sort of blending it inwards to the inner portion of the eye. But I'm packing it on a little bit more. And then I'm using the um, this shadow right here, which is Makeup Geek. I'm pretty sure it's Creme Brulee, but I'll have to make sure for you guys. Sorry, I'm not prepared. <laughs> and this brush right here is basically, I'm just using that brown shade to deepen up that crease. Just to give it a little bit more depth, depth and dimension. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of a darker, pinker shade. Um, this is similar to Razzleberry, but it's not quite as sparkly. Um, and then I'm going to be, again, packing it on a little bit closer and closer to that very, very outer corner of the eye. Building up that color and building up that dimension. And then blending it out again with that blending goat-haired um, crown brush. Same thing to the other eye. Alright, then I'm going to be going in with this Bitten color from Makeup Geek. This is a really nice, deep, sort of 
plummy uh, brown color. It's more red than anything. It's more plum than anything. It's very, very beautiful, and it's perfect for this look. And I'm packing it on the outer, the very, very, very outer corner of the eye, and then blending it out. Every color that we go in with, we're getting a little bit closer and closer to that very, very corner outer corner of the eye and we're building up those colors to give it more dimension and then we're blending it out. I'm using this NB eyeshadow called Sweet. It's a very very nice sparkly pink pigment and just using a Morphe flat brush to pack it on the lid. I sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus so that the uh, shimmer shadow, the shimmer pigment gets a little bit more of a foiled look and then I'm just packing that onto the lid. This also really helps the shadow to stick to the lid and prevent a lot of fallout from happening. This shadow right here is basically just a base for the actual main star of the show glitter pigment that we're going to be using. And this is it right here. This is Rose from NYX. It's the glitter uh, face and body glitter. And I'm going to be using a, a glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm packing that on first and then going in with the glitter just to make sure that, again, we're really packing it on. Not a lot is falling off all over the face. And it's really, again, going to allow for a nice packed on foiled pigmentation. This is a little close up shot for you. Just packing it on all over the lid. And then we're just going to be uh, going in now with a foundation. What I forgot to film, or I guess it cut off, was that I kind of cleaned up the under eyes a little bit with a makeup wipe and a makeup remover wipe, and then I removed the tape. So now I'm just going in with this um, HD foundation stick from Makeup Forever. I'm really, really loving this, and I'm going in with a Morphe uh, big kabuki brush with a little bit of Fix Plus sprayed on it, just to give it a little bit more of a dewy complexion, and then we're just going to be blending that out. I'm loving this brush. It's so amazing for blending out this foundation stick. I just love it. This is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner, and as you can see here, we're just going to be drawing on our wing. If y'all haven't tried this Vinyl Liquid Liner, I definitely recommend it. It's so easy to use because of, I don't know, it's just how it's held, and it has amazing pigmentation to it. The black is just so very vibrant and I just love how it applies. It doesn't tug on your eye, but it's also not so much product coming out at one time that it just gets everywhere. It's very precise. The, the tip on it, the applicator, is just very, very thin, so you really get a nice, precise application. So I basically just drew on the outer up, up, upside down V on the outer portion of my eye, and then I'm just blending it in. Not blending it in, I'm coloring it in. <laughs> of course, like I said in every video, I can't talk. What's new? I'm going very slowly, very carefully into the inner portion of the eye with the least amount of product possible so that I'm not getting that um, black everywhere. And then I'm going in with these Ardell Wispies. This is just the twin pack. I'm just using one of the um, packs and I'm cutting it down a little bit. What I like to do with most of my eyelashes is measure them, cut them down a little bit, and then um, just make sure that it's not going to be poking me on any um, any portion of it. And I'm using the Duo Lash Adhesive Glue, I think it's the black kind, to apply those. The Ultra HD Concealer underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to be blending that out with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This concealer is the bomb.com. It's so freaking amazing. It hides your under eye blueness amazingly, and it really helps to brighten up those under eyes as well. I love it. It's very like full coverage, but it's not super cakey or anything. It's amazing. 
And I also am going to be highlighting the rest of my face, the bridge of my nose, the chin, and also the middle of the forehead. This concealer I'm using is, again, the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer and blending all of that out as well. Any concealing you do, no matter where it is, you want to set it. So, of course, I'm going to be setting all of this concealing with the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I'm using, of course, the lightest shade, the peach shade, and just um, dusting that all over the places that I use the concealer. This Milani Prep Set Go Translucent Powder is what I'm going to be using to set my foundation all over my face. And I'm using a Duo Fiber Face Brush from Real Techniques. And then I'm going to be taking a Morphe. Um, this is just a flat definer brush for the under eyes. And I'm basically mimicking what I'm doing on the top lid to the bottom lash line. So in the very, very outer corner, the deepest, darkest color is going to be that bitten shade going a little bit inwards to Mango Tango, and then be blending all of that out with that um, light brown shade that we used. So just trying to mimic that upper lid. I like to define it with the flat definer, just get a nice precise uh, coloring at the bottom, and then I like to just use a regular pencil brush just to buff it all in and make sure it's nice and blended. This is the E30 from Sigma that I'm using. And it's just perfect for blending that under eye. This is the Modster Ardency In uh, Eyeliner. I use this coal pencil for the under eyes. As you can see, that makes a big difference. I feel like it makes it a lot more smoky, a lot more sultry. So I'm just applying that to my lower waterline and then applying my lower lash mascara this is the lash accelerator from Rimmel really been loving this it really does help to separate those lower lashes and I'm going to be contouring with this lightest shade in the Kat Von D palette and it's a very cool toned brown so it goes perfect with my sort of pinkish undertones of my skin this is just a Morphe brush I got in the vegan palette that I purchased a couple months back. And I'm just using it because it has a nice sort of flat edge, but it's also uh, really great for blending it. So I've just been using that for contouring lately, and I've really been loving it. This is a Morphe uh, bronzing brush. Again, again for the 50th time, I'll link all my brushes down below. I've been loving this to apply my bronzer all over. It's just so big and dense and fluffy. It's just perfect for blending it all out. Just trying to crisp up that line a little bit more on my um, bottom jawline. I just like to add this a little bit because my jawline is not very prominent. This is definitely optional though for you. This is Champagne Pop, of course, from Becca, and I had to do a little dance there. This is the Becca um, Highlighter Champagne Pop that was a collab with Jaclyn Hill. I'm using Jaclyn's favorite highlighting brush. I'll link it down below. And I sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus just to get a little bit more of a foiled highlight going on. Applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow, all that good stuff. Then I also like to highlight with this um, with this highlighting powder. I like to highlight my brow bone as well. It's a very very nice sort of warm peachy highlight. This is um, another Morphe brush. This is a brush that I love to use to kind of clean up my contour a bit with the Laura Tra Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and just doing a little bit of baking, a little bit of cleaning up that contour. This brush is perfect for that. It's just so flat, so precise. I love it. I'm not going to bake it on very long. Pretty quickly I'm going to be wiping it away and I'm just using the Duo Fiber Face Brush again just to wipe any excess product off. The Milani blush I'm using is called Luminoso, very peach and pinkish. I 
love this blush so much. The color and the formulation are amazing. And then I'm going to be doing my brows. This is the new Brow Definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just did some quick clips of my brows um, because I'm going to be doing an extensive um, brow routine video soon. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. That will probably be my next video that I upload. So it's just going to be a little bit more extensive, a little bit more in-depth. But this um, is just kind of a quick run-through of my brows. I've been loving this brow definer, you guys. It makes my brows so quick to do. Oh my gosh, I love it. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. So quick, so easy. I'm in love. And then uh, I'm also setting my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then last but not least, I am just using the Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick, which is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time, to um, just really kind of tie this whole pinkish look together. It's a very sort of muted pinkish mauve color, and I just think it goes absolutely perfectly with this look. And that is pretty much it, guys. Just applying the lips. I'm also going to spray my face down with a little bit of Fix Plus just to make sure all of my powders are nice and set. And, um, yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. Again, it's wearable for a night out with um, your date, your nice hot date, or just friends and family. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this look. If you recreate it, definitely let me know. Let me know what in the comment section down below what you want to see next. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and like this video if you liked it. Follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Bye. And I feel it taking over I better find your loving I better find your heart I better find your loving I better find your heart I better find your loving I better find your heart I better find your heart